right, so there's always a song that no matter where you're at, you bust out an acoustic and you sing this song and suddenly you are the hit of the party. This is one of those songs. So, speaking of songs, if you have song requests, click the links below. A little backed up, but I would love to teach a song you want to hear. Also, don't be afraid to, you know, tell your friends about the channel, spread it far and wide. Let this thing just spread like wildfire. <laughs> All right, enough babbling. Let's get to the tune. All right, so capo on the second fret. So I will refer to first, second, third fret behind the capo, right? So there's only a few chords in this whole song. We're going to have a G. Second finger is going to be on the E, third fret. Your first finger is going to be on the A, second fret. You're going to have your ring and pinky on the third fret of the B and the E. You get to ring all those strings out. Next chord is going to be an A minor. First finger, first fret, B. Second finger, or your middle finger, is going to be on the second fret, A, or excuse me, D string. Ring finger is going to be on the G string, second fret. You get to hit from the A string down. And then we're going to have a D chord. So your first finger is going to be on the second fret G. Second finger is going to be on the second fret E. And your ring finger is going to be on the third fret of the B string. <laughs> and then we're going to have D string down. I'm having a hard time saying those strings today. All right, so that basically is the whole first part of the song. Now, the the Rhythm is the tricky part of that song, but then it does a key change at the very end And let me just go over those chords really quickly It's gonna be an A so you can either do the the lazy A and just put your first finger across the second fret D G and B strings and hit from the A string down or you can do the nice pretty correct Whether or not you do it this way or this way one two three same fret second fret D G B strings hit from the A string down <laughs> Then you're gonna do a B minor chord, which is A to E with your first finger barring across, so you put your finger flat. Then you're gonna have the third fret, you're gonna have your middle finger on the B string. Fourth fret, ring finger is going to be on the D. Pinky is gonna be on the G fourth fret, and you hit from the A string down. And then we're gonna have what looks like an you know open E position, which is just first finger, first fret, G, a string second fret with your middle finger ring finger is going to be on the D string second fret you get to hit all the right that's it so the tricky part about the song other than the chords being awesomely simple the, the tricky part is the rhythm it's not it's a swung feel which is Right now the trick is up down up down up down. But if you notice, um, that second downstroke is an accent, so it's right. So in context with the chord, it sounds like. Right, so the second down's a nice, powerful strum, followed by a pretty good upstroke on that second upstroke. So you basically are accenting on the second up and down, or down up, rather. And if you notice, they start on an upstroke, so it's... So the first part of the song. So what you're doing is that strum pattern, up, down, up, down. You do it three times. So you just do that actual sequence from D, uh, G to D twice. 
the pattern, da doom da dat, da doom da dat, da doom da dat. You know, a da doom da dat is one. So you're gonna do that three times. And then it gets you into the song. All right, so let's break down the verse. So if this counts as one, up, down, up, down, right? If that counts as one, we're gonna do eight of those on the G. Then we're going to switch to the A minor, which is four. So then the D is going to have two followed by a downstroke G. So if you can just think of it this way, it breaks down to a half each time. So we're going to have eight, four, two, one on the G, and then and then I get you back into the G part. So here we go. I'm doing there is on the second fret and then you pull it down a little bit so remember it's right that's really broken down really slowly and it's just doing that pattern to the G is basically all the verses. Now the chorus is very similar to what the verse is, but you don't go back to the G. You just go from G to A minor to D. So we got So what I'm doing there is now when I get to the D, I'm actually playing it four times. So it's going to be eight, four, and four because we don't do the G stop at the little bong pole, right? And that's basically what the chorus is. The only other thing the song does is it goes to a key shift. Basically, it's going to be the same you know, type of sound chord-wise, but you're going to do a different set of chords. That A, B minor to E, sorry. <laughs> so the next part of the song is gonna sound the same, but it just shifts up a key change, right? So instead of G, we're gonna go up a whole step and take everything up a whole step, which would make this A, B minor, and E, right? You're just basically taking each chord and moving it up a whole step. So same pattern, same everything. This is basically a uh, chorus outro, so you play it like a chorus. my friends is basically the whole song quick and easy beginner style now remember 
That's the trickiest part of the whole song. Is that rhythm. Once you get that, you are in. I know you all can do this out there. If you like what you see, spread the word. It really helps me out. Love teaching. Gonna bring you tons of country songs. So I'm looking forward to it. All right, catch you next time.